up, we're going to talk about side shuffles. We've gone through our multiple throwing days and now today is about putting together the full throw. One of the things you can do is warm up with your kneeling throws. You can take a few of those. You can take your up and overs. You can do the stand throw, right? We can go through that so you get a total of maybe anywhere from six to eight throws in that range to get your body moving. We're working on mechanical positions. They're going to feel uncomfortable. That's the point of the pillar drills. We're trying to find those movement pieces that are kind of off and then train that piece, train that piece, and then put it back into the throw and what you should see is your throw coming together in a more complete fashion and it's easier to do because the pieces right don't add up so when we just try to put together a motion but the position parts are incorrect it becomes very difficult and it's a slower process we're going to have our athletes start here we're going to set our alignment we're going to set the angle and what we're going to do is we're going to see we're going to drop like our pillar three so as we drop we reach and we feel that so we move into this position and now you're going to notice that i'm moving into that pillar five position. I have a sideways pillar three, four. So I'm dropping the chest and the hip, sliding this kick leg out. So I'm gonna feel this, and then I'm gonna feel myself landing on that angle so I can drive out into the throw. Now, what we do for the sake of simplicity with a side shuffle is we start with the hand up here. So we, we basically start at this point, shoulder level, and we create the angle to elevate the arm. We don't necessarily lift it up and put it across. We're gonna do this. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna bring it down. We're gonna scale and we're going to separate. Now we're gonna set the angle which lifts this up. We're gonna go pillar three, drop and slide. We're gonna push and then we're gonna land in our elevator squatted position. And then we're gonna block arm stop, push, heel up, push and drive the hip out so that we feel this motion. Pretty straightforward. So again, let's look at that really simple. Set it up, scale and separate, okay? We're going to drop and slide, push, and we're gonna drop into our elevator, and then we're gonna block leg, block arm stop with this. So we're getting back to that motion again, that motion, boom, boom, okay? And that's what we're gonna feel in our side shuffle. Now, many young athletes can throw much further off a of side shuffle than they can from a sand throw, and they can throw better from a side shuffle than they can on a full glide. So this is gonna be your option. And remember, the whole goal is to throw further. As you learn, it's gonna be easy to get into, or easier to get into your glide, but for right now, strength levels, experience, those sorts of things, there's nothing wrong with a side shuffle, and it's a good training tool, because as you can see again, we're here, we're here, we're moving linear, we're loading, we're keeping our hips in the right position, and we're easy easier to get into the power position, our pillar five, six, okay? And ultimately that's the key. If we can create more speed and we're moving the ball faster and we can strike it harder, it's gonna go further and that's the goal. So it's a great training tool and it's something that you can use in competition. If any point throughout these videos throughout the week felt weird and you can't comfortably hand it, hold the shot, go back to the week one beginner videos, how to hold the shot and make sure you got those details correct. So that's what you wanna look at. The side shuffle is really pretty straightforward. Again, we always talk about this. The glide is less technical than the rotational shot. It's less complicated. Doesn't mean it's easier to do. In fact, I think it's very difficult often to execute at a high level. <clears throat> it is a simpler technique and it is easier to get a little bit closer in the beginning, but some core things in your pillar one and two are gonna make a difference. So in the next video, we're gonna put the whole throw together. It's what you've been waiting for and I will see you on inside your full glide video.